the merger agreement says is that we would commit to maintain jobs for two years. And that's uh, sort of a, probably on the outside uh, of what normal merger agreements would, would do. It's actually higher than most, I would say. Fortis has no intention of letting anyone go after two years. This will be local management's decision to manage the workforce, uh, you know, the way it's been done in the past. In fact, if you look at the last couple of acquisitions that we've done, the workforce has increased. I'll give you an example. Um, in our gas business in British Columbia that we purchased in 2007, now this business is about four times as big uh, as Central Hudson, so it's a large business. They had about 1,100 employees at the, at the time that we, we bought them. They're almost up to 1,700 employees at this point in time. The main reason is that we actually insource work that was previously outsourced by the prior owner. We hired about 300 employees, mostly unionized employees, and uh, we created two new call centers. It's gone over really well. Uh, stakeholders, the government, the regulator, the towns, all really like what we've done there. Uh, in Alberta, for example, when we bought that business, it had about uh, seven, eight hundred employees. They're over eleven hundred at this point in time. Again, a lot, lot of insourcing of work rather than uh, keeping it outsourced, and uh, a growth in investment also helping us to increase the workforce. We're hoping we can do something like the here, that here at Central Hudson, as the economy grows in the region. Uh, you know, we're really hopeful we can invest more capital here so we can grow the business. That's, that's why we're coming. A lot of long service employees, uh, you know, 20, 25 years service. You can tell they're, uh, they're very proud to be with the company. Then we visited the uh, gas crew. Uh, they were, as I mentioned, hooking up the school. We met a couple young, young employees, been four or five years with the company, maybe in their mid-20s, I'd say, along with some, uh, some employees that, you know, had 20, 25 years service. Uh, met a, met a, 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 a person who started off as a meter reader, and uh, uh, he's now a welder. So I was in my own mind thinking that he went back to school. So I asked him about that, and he said, no, 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 I've been trained on the job here by the best, he said, and now I'm a welder. And I said, you've had a good career. He said, absolutely, I've enjoyed it. So, you know, for me, it was very genuine. It wasn't staged. Uh, these people were talking to me uh, about their careers. So they, they appear to be happy. And uh, I'd have to say that's similar to our businesses in Canada. You know, we have a lot of long service employees. They're proud of what they do. Uh, you know, working, working to sort of create a reliable system, uh, whether it be for gas or electricity, and, uh, and uh, keep, keep, uh, keep customers happy. I would say don't be worried about the change that, that's going to happen here. We're very fo focused on the long term. We don't make short-term decisions. Employees, the operational employees are very important to us. Uh, the line, the line persons, these, these are the people that are the face of the company. We want to make sure they have all the equipment they need to do their jobs. So, you know, I think things, you know, will be as good as they are today and maybe better uh, as part of the Fortis group. And uh, that's what uh, we would like to leave, uh, you know, in the, in the minds of employees.